Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and I am here with my Jen. She is here. The Jen is back from not taking care of your boy and holidays and whatever else, right? I'm back. Apparently your boy is just not taken care of, but whatever. <laughs> That's what husbands are for at this point, right? And grandparents. <laughs> so welcome. I'm so happy to be here. And uh, hello, Cheryl. I see there's some people coming on over the chat. And if you are here um, live watching me tonight, please head on over to the chat. We'd love to hear from you. Ask any questions. And, you know, it's a free-for-all over there. Just be nice. <laughs> you guys are, though. You guys, like, rock. You guys are, like, fabulous. Anyway, thrilled to be here. I am going to be doing a painting today on a 9 by 12 canvas. It's just a stretched panel canvas. And it is going to be inspired by something that Jane Davenport did. Now, where's your phone, Jen? Here it is. Jen saw something online, and she looked at it, and she went, Oh, my God, that is so Karen. <laughs> is that not what you said? Yes, it is. So, so let me just kind of slide this over. So this is Jane Davenport's. I don't, Jen couldn't find it anywhere. She doesn't even know where she found it. Here we are. See? So it's stencil work. I see pomegranate. I see all kinds of crafters workshop templates in there. That's all the things that I do with a silhouette of a face there. Kathy, are you laughing? Because I'm doing a silhouette, sort of. But in the spirit of my new stencils that have now arrived in the 12 by 12, yay! And um, I taught a class in how to paint with stencils yesterday, and I'm teaching one in Edmonton next month at the Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something similar and use one of the new templates from Julie Faith Van Balder. So here are, what is this one, three-quarter and mini profile. I think I might, I'm not sure, I'm thinking I might use this one to kind of trace in the image and kind of make the hair kind of inspired by what Jane had done in her piece. It almost looks like she made like a journal book out of it. I'm not 100% sure because it looks like it's folded. Um, into what could be a book. Anyway, her work is great and, if, uh, and very inspiring. She does a lot of faces. Um, if you're interested in that type of art, please check her out. She's awesome. So Julie's stencils, as I say, the 6x6 and the 12x12 came in. See, here we go, 12x12. So like big canvases. These would be so cool. Kathy does art journal pages that big. You could use those, Kath. Anyway, they're here. And I decided I'm going to use the 6x6 six six because I really was inspired by the way that Jane had the hair kind of coming out. So I'm going to do something similar, the Karen-esque version of that. Thank you to Jen who said, Karen, can you do something like this? And I'm like, yeah, because I do all the time anyway, right? I work with my stencils. So part two of the inspiration game today because I really need some inspiration this week. I went online and um, on Pinterest, and I'm not even sure which board this one came from, because it has a whole bunch of numbers, at .jpg beside it, so it doesn't help me at all. But this is the palette I thought I might use. Uh, Pinterest is a great place to go to <laughs> if you are looking for color inspiration. Um, so I really thought these colors were great, and I kind of looked into my stash, and I have some fantastic perfect pigments here. I thought the copper, the metallic copper, kind of looks like this one. And this one kind of looks like the light gold. And then this one kind of looks like the wheat. So I'm thinking, yeah, that could be really fun. And then this looks like a lighter version of the cobalt turquoise. So I think I might just add some white and make this color. See how it's pretty close? Yahooey. And then this one looks like the permanent green. How, am I, how lucky am I getting? And I think this color right here is a combination of the two. I am not the most perfect color matching, kind of color mixing girl. Um, I, I like the companies to do that for me. But I think I'm going to try to get this darker, uh, deeper tone of the green. It's like a greeny blue color in there. Um, I'm going to see about getting that in there too. So these are the colors I'm going to work with. And I am going to literally paint with my stencils. Ah, oh, Jillian, I'm glad you found it. I'm going to paint with my stencils so that um, I, I fill the canvas and then I'm going to use one of Julie's stencils as a guide and then I'm going to shade in that uh, silhouette much like it was inspired by Jane. So does that sound like a plan? There you go. 
how do you do? So there's the idea. Hello, teen queens. Queen teen, I'm sorry, I'm a little dyslexic. <laughs> and I, there's a, it's great to see you. And I think these colors are great too, Joss. I really do. I think I'm going to start by just getting some color down on my uh, canvas. So I'm just going to throw some liquid metallic gold. You guys know how I just kind of throw the paint down on my canvas. We're going to mix right on the canvas. And kind of go from there. My brush is not really wet. It's pretty dry. But this is bronze, metallic bronze, and light metallic gold. So some of the techniques I'm going to do with you tonight are in my um, painting with stencils class. I think I might take this canvas with me to Edmonton because I'm teaching it out there, as I said. Um, so you guys can see it if you are in Alberta. And if not, you'll see it here when you come into the studio to visit me here in Ontario. Do -do 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 I'm not caring too much about my uh, brush strokes. I'm just going for it. I did not pre-gesso this canvas. I just used the gesso that's already sprayed on it. Looks good. Nice two-tone. Hello, Carol. How are you? Carol the newbie. Hello, Heather. Good evening. All right. I need my water jug. Sorry, I'm going to reach across you here. From my brush. All right. Move it out of the way. I did have some sprays made up. These sprays, paint sprays, just in Mr. Bottles, um, of the colors that I'm using today. So here's that light metallic gold. Here is the metallic uh, copper and the wheat and the teal. There we go. See. And I'm going to use these to spray with some stencils, and we'll just kind of get going and playing with that color palette for the whole time. And I'm going to leave it right here so you guys can see it as I play. There we be. All right, so what stencils am I going to use first? I really should get some of the new, new ones out. Not like, what should I play with, Jen? Seriously, what did I have pulled out over there? Yeah. Or oh, they're over here. You know what would be nice? What? Those striped leaves or striped leaves. Oh, I love that one. I used that. I used that somewhere. It's got to be in here. I've used it already. I'm sure I did. No, it's so large. Doesn't matter. This, is, this one is mini chevron tile. See, I knew I used it. Mini chevron tiles. I could use that. The leaves would be really fun. So I've got a couple here. This is one of Dina Wakeley's new ones. I don't even remember the name of it right now. Go from there. What is Artways? You check the calendar. You are not the first person to check my calendar today and ask what Artways is. Artways is uh, education. Uh, weekend and marketplace that's going to be held in London um, next weekend. London, Ontario. Sorry, not. I am going to London, England next weekend too. <laughs> but London, Ontario, and um, uh, yeah, I'm teaching on Thursday morning, Friday morning, and Saturday afternoon at this event. And that's what you were seeing on my calendar. Yeah, there are three, Carol. I'm teaching at eight from eight to ten on Thursday, eight to ten on Friday, and two to four on Saturday. So I'm just gonna use my sprays. Remember my sprays are fifty fifty. Water and fluid acrylic. And I'm just gonna start pressing down. Now I am using the light metallic gold. I have not changed the color, so this is very, very subtle right now. Excuse me one second. There we go. There, can you see it a little better? Maybe not. Not yet.
spray, 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 and I kind of like the other side. Might throw that in there. Why not, right? I should really have my art journal book here. I do have it around here somewhere. Hello, Mary. How are you? I'm just going to take some of this off. There we go. Just by rolling it. What you do? <laughs> Jen got me my journal. Hey, babe. I want that green. Let's do a little bit of green. Oh, poopy. <laughs> I was telling the girls yesterday, always make sure you... There, get it going first. So you don't do what I just did, but that's okay. That'll work. Just looking for some color right now, right? You have a lot of trouble with the Ranger spray bottles. The pumps don't seem to work. Um, could very well be the user. Do you know what, Heather? Um, I've had varying degrees of luck with them as well. Um, more luck with these than I have with any other spray bottle uh, because they're a hard plastic. But the idea, you have to keep them closed and you have to store them straight up and not do what I normally do, as I tell people. Um, because it, it is paint in there. And as, pa as air gets into that nozzle, it's going to dry the paint. So you have to really keep it closed and sometimes we forget those things I know I do especially when I'm in a panic and need to clean up and huh, if I clean up when Jen's not here <laughs> right Jen uh-huh uh -huh. hello Brenda I need some wheat some wheat and some circles in here. Ooh, this one's right on the top. This is a really old stencil that I've used very lovingly. I think I'll use that wheat. Oh, that's pretty. This is one that I wish they wouldn't discontinue. I can't get it anymore. I've tried. Pretty, 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 can you see? Cool, yo. I'll use this paper towel some other time. Let's get this dabbed off. Actually, one of my art waste classes, we are using paper towels. I have some paper towels from my studio that we're going to use as background. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just going to dry this because I am starting to mix, and I don't want it to mix any more than it already is. So let me just pull my heat gun over here. Sure you could, Mary. Mary asked if you can water gesso down. You could, but um, I would just use um, acrylic paint because there's not as much filler in it. Oh, but I'm sorry you're feeling poopy, Brenda. And Heather, I'm glad you're going to try those suggestions. I hope you do. Just keep it, keep it closed and, and store straight up. And when you fill the bottle, don't shake them up and down. Shake them side to side, kind of like a nail polish bottle, as Jen said today. That'll help it, too. I love how Jessa looks when paint bleeds through the back, too. Totally hear you.
kind of get some of this dried off so we don't blend. There we go. I'm going to use some more of that gold. See if it'll come through now. Ooh. I think I'll do some of that gold with some letters. I'm just literally two-toning it a little bit there. I'm staying within my color palette. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. <laughs> Here we go. Looks kind of cool. I really want to mix that deeper color and I'm almost tempted to put it in not through a stencil but just dry brush it on so I'm going to try mixing that color remember I said there was a, a deeper shade of green and turquoise I'm going to try to blend that this color right here second one in on the left Before I do that, I gotta dry the gold. I really love these pinks. I love them, I love them, I love them. Beautiful colors, beautiful pigments. And shiny. Yes, it is a stretch canvas. And I still haven't thought of a new song. A song for when I dry my paint. Nobody's emailed me any lyrics. <laughs> or at least a tune that I can learn. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take some of this permanent medium green. And some of the turquoise. And I'm going to mix these and see what happens. Brush. Okay, let's see what color I get. See if it's anywhere close to what that other color is. Oh, it's close. I think I need more of a blue shade in there. Hmm. Hmm. I keep thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm going to try it with the ultramarine. This might look a little bit yucky. Oh, it's getting closer, actually. A little bit more blue. Dry, dry, dry the paint. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wish I had a beer. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> killing me, girl. You're killing me. Actually, this this color is turning out very close. So I mixed and ended up mixing three colors to get it. But let me just show you with my palette here. It's pretty close to that second color. Hold on, can you see it? Pretty darn close. Here, got a better idea. See, it's pretty close. All right, so I think I'm going to take this. I 
Uh, um, Jillian said, uh, try adding a touch of the compliment. Yeah, but I don't think I really needed to. It was pretty close. Pretty dang close. <laughs> so I think I'm going to right through the middle of it. And I'm putting it on and it's going to look pretty <laughs> right now. But I'll just dab some off so you can see underneath. There we go. And I think I'll go over here. Ooh, I had a little splotch of blue by the look of it. Take it on, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. And because I did two, I need to do three. Do that up here. So adding a little bit of depth there. Kind of like that. How's that look in the camera? Not too bad, eh? There we go. Back to the stencils. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was pretty uh, interesting, actually, doing that little mix. Um, where's, oh, I want my colored palette back here so you can see it. Got to put my lids back on my... See, what did I say? Do as I say, not as I do, Heather. <laughs> I said, whatever. So brave, nothing. Let's just go for it. Okay, so... I want to get a little bit more of that cobalt in there again. So I think I'm going to pull this out. And what do I want to use? Get my stencil jar. Is there any other new ones I want to use? There's like some. Ah, oh, do you know what? You know what? Um, I think I'm going to I'll use peacock pattern. This is another crafter's workshop stencil. Spray this into the. The other thing I find, Heather, sometimes when the paint gets into the nozzle, that you have to pull it up. So you push it down and then pull it up. So a little bit more of the turquoise, like the brighter shade. And I might even add, hmm, I think I'm going to leave that turquoise on there and take some of that wheat color and see if any of that transfers. Yeah, see, that's kind of nice. Um, let me show you in the close-up in a second. So the same pattern in two colors. I'm just letting it go. So it's kind of blending together because they're both wet. So it's getting a tone and a sh like it's getting a tint of the previous. I like that. It's very airy, which is what I want to get for her hair, right? I want an airy feeling. So that's going to work. Give this a quick dry. It makes you mental because <laughs> you have to keep pulling it up. Do um, you know what, Heather? She's um, uh, to put it in some hot, hot, hot water and um, try to get the paint out of the bat, that's all. Hot, 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 hot water. Clean that Betty thing out. Clean it. Karen, do I have the pomegranate stencil? I don't have the pomegranate stencil in stock, I don't think, no. No. But it is something I can get if you're wanting it, Cheryl, because uh, I have to make another order with them. The order I got in yesterday isn't enough. Because <laughs> I've been into them. 
I'm really liking how soft this is feeling. Really, really liking that. You're welcome, Heather. I think I want to put some flares in her hair. Give me some flares. <laughs> I do, I do, says Cheryl, I do. Okay, you guys, you have to understand, sticking to this color palette is so strange to me, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Okay, let me see. Let me show you. You see? That's one of Donna Downey's. Again, um, I'm not even sure if I have that one anymore. Prima, um, when they put their stencils out, they don't keep them out for long. So if you see one that you like, grab it. Seriously. Because they only do like one run. Companies like Crafters Workshop, they will do multiple runs of their stencils and keep them available longer. But um, other companies that don't specialize in stencils like Prima, they'll do like a, um, a release run. So they'll do one every... They'll do one run every six months of different things, if that makes any sense. But I love that. I love that one stencil. And some of the stencils that uh, uh, Anna Debraska has done with Prima are beautiful too, but again, you have to get them. When you see them, get them. There you go. I better actually better just quickly dry this gold because again I don't want that gold to mix with any other colors. I'm loving the wheat and the gold. Loving that. I'm really liking this color palette. Cheryl, that particular one, as I said, was a Prima one, the Donna Downey. Hello, Lady True North. How are you today? Lovely to see you. This is so pretty. It's metallic and shiny. <laughs> Alright, so now i got to start thinking about how I want to do like her hair, how it's going to come up, her face and into her hair. I want to have some more up in this corner because the profile of the stencil, if you recall, is her facing to the right. So. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm sure. But, um, so I really want this to be built up to make it flew. Hello, Wendy. How are you today? And Dar, how are you, sweetie? Dar, you would have been so proud of me. I made a journal for my upcoming trip. I didn't do it the way you did, but uh, I was seeing how you're doing all of your uh, pockets and everything last week, and I'm like, oh, I have to make some more. So yesterday during journal night here at the studio, um, I made some with uh, folders, and when I'm done, uh, come back from the trip, I'll show you guys. <laughs> Just waving to some people out on the uh, out walking their dog. This is looking mighty fine. It's still pretty wet up here, but I want to concentrate on this corner right now in particular. And I do want to lighten it up. I do want it to be airy. So I think I'll use 
Um, I think I'll use the wheat. Um, there is some wheat up there though. Maybe I need more gold. No, I'll use the wheat first. And um, I'd like to have do some dots. I'm using a lot of six by six today. Not quite sure why that is. But that's okay too. So yeah, I'm liking the dots. And I'll do three. So it's build, 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 build till you're sick of building. No, I'm just kidding. See? Look at all the layers in that. That's the one thing I was talking about in my class yesterday too. You know, you create a lot of texture and depth just by layering um, different stencils. Different sizes of stencils too are very important. Um, I think I want something a little linear in there though. Um, actually, do I own? I do, but do I have it open? <laughs> um, maybe I'll use this daisy. <gasps> no. Sorry, I'm going through my stencil collection here now, guys. Hold on one sec. Oh, I have to keep this out. I have to keep that stencil for the class next month. Um. Something linear, I said, right? Possibly. like I had this one open twice. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't find it. Maybe I didn't do it after all. Ooh, no. No. That could be fun. The stars and circles. Hello, Robin. Hello, Missy. Oh, for heaven's sake. No, I'm going to use, I just found it, I'm going to use the cursive letters. And I am going to do it in green. Cursive alphabet. And notice I'm not really caring on whether or not I can see it. I just want the shape. And I'm doing up my diagonal. <laughs> Alright, so there's the green. And I think I will with the gold again. And some turquoise. Maybe all at the same time. Hold on. Gold turquoise. Let it mix a bit so that it's not quite as stark. Consolation. Oops. That's kind of fun, actually. See? I think I'm almost done. I'm going to do um, another layer of the wheat. You dig the color so far? Cool. Thanks, Star. Mm. 
I'm going to blend some of these together again. I, um, do we still have the Subway stencil in stock? There might be one left. Jen's going to go look. 12 by 12 or 6 by 6? The answer is yes, we have one 12 by 12 of the subway and three 6 by 6. Let me know. I really love Rhonda's um, new uh, line with the Crafters Workshop. I've been using it quite a bit. I like broke them all open. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this uh, to dry as fast as I can. Maybe I do need to start seeing that dry, dry, dry the paint. There we go. Okay. Lids on. Alright. Some wheat. Wheat, 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 wheat. Bottle. I am going to put some wheat on my palette plate here and get some paper towel. And bunch up some paper towel. Oh, Wendy, yeah, I think you're, it would be a cool, actually, that's a very good idea. She wasn't thinking, she was thinking about me using that one. So I'm just kind of blending these together now with the wheat, just to kind of make it one linear, like one cohesive piece, as opposed to multiple stencil layers. You can see the stencils in there. I really see them in there, but just trying to, maybe I will use that. There's a ton of layers in here. Holy moly. Has anybody been counting? <laughs> Where's this? I know I have it in 12 by 12. Just trying to, I just don't know if I have that subway in 6 by 6 open. No. I'll use the 12 by 12. a nice idea. There it is. I'm just going to put that right over top. Very cool. Perfect. Thank you, Wendy. Gorgeous addition. I'm just looking at it at this point. Can you guys see that in the camera? Um, I think I want to redo a little something up here and then I think I'm done. Wow, lots of texture layer in this, that's for sure. I think I'm going to pull out that bronze. And, uh, What do I want? I think I'm going to go back to that circle stencil. There we go. There, I think that's a beautiful accent. I want to get the one, a little one up here. Nice. Oh 
yeah. <laughs> There we go. Like lots of layers in there, girls. Lots and lots and lots. I still want something floral up there, though. So I better not put it away until I've done it. <clears throat> this is the wheat. I think that's good. I think I'm about ready for that uh, other stencil. I have a white. Where did my white spray bottle go? Did I cut? Did I pick it out? I'm not sure. Nope, I think I see it. I think I might want to add a little bit of white. And my spray, the question on the chat is, Karen, are you spraying through the stencils while they're not touching the canvas? Yes, for the most part, I am not touching the canvas with them. They are just above the canvas, like eighth of an inch, just above it. Sometimes I'll let them go right down, but I don't always. I like um, the diffused look for background pieces like this, and um, and it also eliminates a lot of that squared look. You know, when you are using a stencil and you're spraying, whether it be with an ink spray or with the paint spray, and you see the color, you see the line of the stencil. I find if I hold it up a little bit, I can avoid most of that. She holds the stencil above the canvas. Cool, eh? <laughs> yes, cool. <laughs> Yay, Dar, I'm so glad. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking between the two new um, stencils here, I think I might use this mini profile. I think the three quarter is beautiful, but I think I like the size of the lines. And this one, um, just that little bit more. I don't know. Do you guys have thoughts on that? I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> I'm going to use this one. This one again is a mini profile. And I'm going to need a bouncy tool. It's still a little wet there. If I blow on it, will it, will it dry faster? <laughs> okay. Um, bouncy tool is here. I need black. Um, I need my black. <laughs> didn't bring out my black either, so I need white and black. Here's my black. And here's my white spray just in case I want to use it, which I still might. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I love the colors too. Thank you very much. Again, inspiration from Pinterest. Look at that. I couldn't get much closer, could I? <laughs> if you look at the... There you go. <laughs> Alright, I better just get that right there. Before I put the stencil down in it. Okay. So, some Mars Black Perfect Pigment. Again, this is just a fluid acrylic. And I'm just going to put this on that. And I have a spouncy tool here. And the new stencil. Now, I'm going to... I'm not going to do her whole head. I'm not going to do her hair. I'm going to draw that one in. But I am going to use the stencil so much as I'm going to get this profile happening so that I can uh, use that profile that's already here, not reinvent the wheel, 
Where's the camera? I'm going to show you, for those of you who have not logged on, uh, we're not here in the beginning, I want to show you the um, image that Jen pulled from something that Jane Davenport did that she thought that I would like. And this is, this is the idea. See? So that's kind of what I'm going to do, but using Julie Faith and Balzer's stencils. Okay? So you'll see I'm just kind of going from the forehead. So I'm going to start right here and just do these lines. Bouncy, bouncy. Now when I'm using a bouncy tool, I use it really dry. I do not want... Oops, I need to get in there though. I do not want the um, brush to be wet so that I'm pushing wet paint down through it. That's just not a good idea. Black and white. <laughs> I'm a mind reader. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to pull this off and see where I'm at. See? Take a peek at that. Very pretty. And again, my inspiration was this here. So I think I might put in her eyes. There you go. But just that. So let me just... Uh, Don't tell Jen I had paint on my fingers. She touched my phone. <laughs> touched your phone? <laughs> I touched Jen's phone with paint on my fingers. I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> it's, it's turquoise. Okay, it's, got a it's turquoise and purple. So, it bled, uh, so it's oh, a perfect compliment. It, can I sign it? Ooh, now i got some funky picture of... There we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> All right. Oh, that was a little panicky. What's that? You're cutting me off? <laughs> no, put it back to your picture. Oh, it's there. No, it's there. I found it. I just went over one. All right, so I'm going back in. <laughs> okay, Karen's got Karen's in the studio. Keep your electronics away. <laughs> I love you, Jen. <laughs> so there she is. <laughs> There's her eye. Oh, I'm gonna tell her she, she yes, she's there. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she knew. She first thing she said to me when she gave me the phone. She says, "No, don't get any paint on it." <laughs> she knew better. <laughs> Keep it away from the camera. <laughs> the hazardous place to work. All right. So I'm just gonna dry this, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. I love you. <laughs> My studio phone. Jen cleans it often. Look. <laughs> Keep it away, keep it away. Is that our song playing? <gasps> You're not getting in trouble for turning it off. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, hey, hey, hey. And I ain't Pat Albert. <laughs> Yes, we love you. Too. They all love you, Jed. Oh, I love them. <laughs> all right, so now I'm thinking, how the heck am I going to draw this line? Again, inspiration <laughs> without paint on my fingers. It's a pretty, um, uh, it's a pretty stuck like line with a lot of shading in it. See? That's oh, not doing. Jane Davenport. See? Didn't lie to you. I love my Jen. She sees things and takes photos. And <laughs> I think maybe I'll sketch this in with my all pencil. Haha, <laughs> Kathy. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm wondering if I need to pull it down even more. Have it there. Oh, I do. This is the line right here, right here, right here, right here, right there. That's the line. That's a cool line, actually. All right. So I'm going to take a little bit of water and get rid of that, that first line I did. If you guys can even see it in the camera. I'm not sure if you can or not. Just getting rid of it. All right, and then I will go in with my small brush and some black paint just to kind of keep it similar. There's one. As long as she doesn't look like Elvira. <laughs> Oh, and so what if she does? <laughs> we should do like a little bow tie in her hair. There, what do you think? I'll pull down her, complete her body, make her three quarter. Didn't like that. Take it off while it's still wet beauty of acrylic paint. All right, what you think? This is for Jen. Ooh, I like this. Karen could do this. <laughs> All right. Now, yes, it was blur blurred lines. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I've touched the screen with my... Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they were dry paint. Okay, so I just kind of dried this line. And then I'm going to use the All Pencil, which is water soluble. Um, so it'll shade like a charcoal pencil, but it'll go over the, um, the paint beautifully. I just want to make sure this is dry before I put the pen to it. Pencil to it. There we go. Frankenstein's bride. <laughs> yeah, I guess she kind of looks like that. But she's a pretty Frankenstein bride. <laughs> she don't like me. I do too. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go in and use this pencil fairly liberally. I'm just going to move the camera. I'm just wondering if I should change it <laughs> so it doesn't look as Frankenstein's bridey. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> we can put it out for Halloween. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, so I'm going in with that pencil. Ooh, I got lots on there. And I might not even need so much. What? <laughs> smudge, smudge, smudge. Ta da. Oh, 
goodness gracious. I'm having a hard time focusing on the screen today. It's very gothic-like. <laughs> we can put some we can put some gears in her hair later and she can be steampunk. <laughs> All right, where's the hold on, where's your phone? <laughs> okay, here, hold on. Here's again. Oh, what happened? Jan? No, I didn't kill it with tape. I think I got out of the gallery. Thank you. See, it was pretty liberal. Pretty liberal. All the way around. <laughs> uh, by the look of... I can't read this. Why go? I'm having a real hard time. I think it's this light here. <laughs> look at my blue. I need, it looks like I need oxygen. Probably. Pan pastels would work for the smudgy effect. Sure it would. Sure it would. I have enough on my brush that I can even... Gelatos would work for that too. I gotta get this out of here. I want to do it a little bit later. I want to say, Kathy, I wish you were here. You would la you're laughing at me. I know you are. <laughs> Neo, yeah, they would all work. Uh, glue a gear and call it steampunk. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Just call it that. I actually kind of like her. I think she's fun. I really love the co like I'm loving the color. I'm like kind of surprised at myself. I I stuck with it. Do do do. You would never laugh at me. Yeah, right, Kathy. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Alright, I just want a little bit. Itty bitty bit. Itty bitty bit. What, sweetie? Just looking for the invoice for the two you mailed out today. Um, at the, but beside you. There we go. <coughs> She's got it around those black edges there. Oh, boy. I'm thinking, I'm not sure about this big bump on her head right over here, but we can go for it. <laughs> I can take it off. I can take it off. It's just uh, water soluble, right? We laugh with you. Oh, thank you. Can I have it? That's my compliment. I love you, Dar. <laughs> um, let me see. What else do I do? I want to do anything else, or I definitely want some white in there. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do it with pen, um, white charcoal pencil, keep it there, or if I use um, because I need some white accents here, or if I use my gel pen, white charcoal paint. I want to take some of this lump off though. It's driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Hold on. Right here. Bump. 
gone. She's healthy. <laughs> no lumps. Okay. Actually, this is kind of fun. I'm wondering if I should do a little bit more shading, though. Kathy, don't laugh. Can you, can you tell I just did something there in the camera? It's very faint. But it's there. Um, I think I might want to do a little bit more on the inside over here. And a little bit more. I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then I'll wiggle, 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 and do on the inside in here. Oh, Kathy, I'm shading even more. <laughs> and I think I might do some on the inside over here, too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get a little bit more water on my brush. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Kind of giving her more of a some of us Stevie <laughs> we live for the bumps, is that what we do? Yes, I did see that, Jillian. Um there we go. I'm just gonna without actually putting the big deep where's that stencil that I used she's got her hairline here um, without putting that deep line in there I'm wanting to kind of maybe I'll just put it hold on I'm talking out my mouth well, I guess what else would I be talking out of oh shoot <laughs> I had paint on the back of it <laughs> alright Karen that's having paint issues this evening. Goodness gracious. Like right through here. And right through here. You see that? So I had started to just shade it. Bring in some gray to shade. Yes, I will. But I started to down there, see? Alright. We're going for it. I have to dry this before I move any more water around. I'm going home to the place where I belong. Maybe I'll do it with the wheat. I'm going to put some wheat on the palette. Oh, that was light gold. Okay, really, now I can't tell the difference between wheat and gold. <laughs> Jen, it's been a long day. <laughs> Jen's just shaking her head at me right now, guys. She's shaking her head. Hey, Karma, how are you doing, kiddo? Because I'm just wanting to... Throw in some light here. Thank <laughs> you. 
to the place where I belong. Ah, there we go. Kind of liking that. Light pops off the background. Yes. But notice I'm, I'm not doing it with the white. I'm using that wheat that's in my color palette. Blend it. Oh, maybe I took too much off of her mouth there. But we shall see. We shall see. Don't have much paint on my brush anymore. There we go. There, guys, what do you think? She's kind of fun, eh? Crazy, what a difference wheat makes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> crazy, crazy indeed. All right. Ah! So I'm kind of liking this. It's kind of fun. Jen, was it kind of like what uh, you envisioned? Kind of, sort of? I need to do a little bit something through here. A little bit darker. I think I'm going to dry this wheat. I might fix it. I do have the... <coughs> She's painting while you watch? You gotta get painting too! I'm almost tempted. Ooh, I got another idea. I have some gold on this palette here. I am going to take, hold on, no I don't want that brush, this one might work, I'm going to move it around this way, and I'm just kind of doing a wash just in that metallic, just so that it's a little different. Instead of doing it with my hands, I'm doing it with the brush. I want to have it a little bit more opaque. <laughs> Friend wants to borrow the heat gun. And you don't think the cord will reach. <laughs> now be nice. She's your friend. She's your guest. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little bit more of that metallic gold. I'd have to touch up some of that other... Can you see that? 
Like it's really shiny. <laughs> All right, you hand it over. Um, yeah, well, that's kind of what I'm doing, Heather, but the reverse. I'm keeping the hair as the stencil work, and all that around her, I'm kind of using the, see if you, can you see it better? It's the, the gold is a little translucent. Um, it's hard to see in the camera, but it's differentiating her a little bit there, yes. Yeah, well, have good luck with that. And yes, I read it. She's she's asking because she's heading away with the hubs and the kids. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> there you go. If anything, Heather, I'm going to um, do something else in in her hair um, to differentiate the hair from the face a little bit more. But that'll be it, and I'm done. I think we're good. You see it now, the reverse. Yes. Actually, I, you should see that in there. I kind of like that. All right. But whatever I do, I don't want Pride of Frankenstein. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to let new people are coming in. All right. So there you go. How, what do you think, Jen? Mm -hmm. Is it what you're picturing, sort of? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, look at it like this way. Like, like, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that angle on her. Um, so yeah, all the stencils are there in the color palette. I'm just wondering if I want to if I want to do something else through here a little bit. If I make it more blue, she could be Marge Simpson Ooh. or Mark. You could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost. I didn't do nothing with them. You knew they were around that area. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just looking. I want to look at that stencil again. Do I want her ear or do I not want her ear? Do I want her ear, girls? I think I want her ear. It must really suck not to have an ear. She now has ears. Jen, do you like? Uh, hold on, I'm gonna hold this up for Jen. Do you like her better with or without the ear? I'm thinking without now that I put it in. Heck yeah! All right, she concurs. Where's my water bottle? Out, oh, damn spot! Look, she's. Can't hear again. <laughs> there we go. Too black. I hear you, Mary. I hear you. Okay. So maybe I see. I do like this new stencil here. Maybe. I want to mask that off, though. Kind of like that. Were you thinking of going? Um, her. I'm sorry, I can't read this today. Uh, were you thinking of going her hairline around the face? Yes, I was kind of thinking that. I Van Gogh'd her. Woohoo! 
You love your feet, and do you think you add some flowers? And do you know what? It is so funny that you should say that because I'm sitting here thinking, did you see me do this? I was thinking um, I, I need to add some flowers or something in there and make something dimensional. <laughs> I so did. It was so there on the tip of my tongue. I just didn't vocalize it, and you did for me. Um, I think I'm going to go a little bit through here. Uh, can you, it's very subtle, but can you see that? A little bit more. And I'm going to do the same. Um, but this time, not just that, but... Kind of where that hairline's going. I need to pull it down a little bit more. Like right here. Maybe I'll continue on. In the turquoise. There you go. What do you think? Can you see it? Dear, dear, dear. I hate to say it, but I think I need something bigger in her head. It's all looking the same size. I'm looking for... I'm looking for something... Ooh! Nancy's here. Everybody say hello, Nancy. How are you doing, Nancy? Good. Nancy's good. Nice to see Nancy. You were watching on TV. Oh, white bottle. All right, let's see what this did. Oh, 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 oh. Now she's got Buffon. I kind of like that. Now she got a bouffant. <laughs> I just changed her decade. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I oh, love it. <laughs> uh, Jillian says hi. I read your mind again. I needed something bigger. There you go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dry that because I like that. <laughs> That's kind of funny, eh? I'm glad you did. Thank you for you. Lovely. Now she's a 60s matron. And I think I might take some of that wheat and just kind of doodle in that hair. That'll be good. I am staying within this color palette, though. I'm kind of shocking myself. Look at that. Yes, so I, I did do the uh, I did do the underground map, as you call it. Yes, the subway map. Oh. Okay, wheat. Taking out that weed again. Get it on the lay my little brush and just kind of just doodle around some of these echoes as they're called. I think they look more like rosettes. 
what they call them, echoes. <laughs> it's a pretty stencil, isn't it? I really quite like it too. There we go. So that kind of defines her hair a little bit more, right? Please say yes. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Okay, good night, Brenda. You take care, hon. Feel better. Anyway, that's kind of fun. I don't know. I think if I do anything, it'll be something dimensional. I think she's really pretty. That's cool. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. but, um, maybe I'll do some words in there or something. Ooh, I, I am not the bride of Frankenstein. That's what I should write. <laughs> Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. You like my nudie? Yeah. <laughs> Nudie's over there. All right. <clears throat> All right. I am going to stop the record and I'm going to read what's being written in the chat a little bit more because I'm having a real hard time today and I'm not quite sure why. But anyway, that's okay. And um, I will post this on my website. Thank you so much for joining me. This is kind of fun. I really enjoy doing that. Did Lynn join you tonight? Uh, no. Lynn did not. She didn't say, where's the Jen? She's not here. The Jen is here. The Jen is here. I told her, Lynn. I told her. <laughs> so anyway, it's all good. So thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. And I will post this on the arthousestudio.ca's website and, of course, on our Facebook page. And, uh, yeah, come and join me on Friday nights. Now, I know there's some new people here, and I'm so thrilled uh, in the chat to welcome some new people to the fold. But I am actually heading out very soon. I am taking the rest of the month off. I'm teaching next uh, Friday um, at ArtWave. If I can broadcast Friday night, I will try to. But I'm not promising anything, okay? Um, just because I'm not sure what... Uh, how things are going to be going at that event. But um, if you are in the London, Ontario area and you're looking for some classes and things to do next weekend, Artways is a place to check out. If you can Google it, it's Artways in London. It's uh, put on by Coast to Coast Events. So um, definitely do that. And uh, then I'm heading to Europe, which is very exciting. So I won't be back until September doing an official broadcast on the Friday evening. But I promise you, I will post some stuff on the website and uh, keep tabs with you all, okay? So thank you so much. I will have fun and I will stay safe. And Dar, you still want her? <laughs> I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Dixie Doodles, I didn't even see it. I'm so glad that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much, and um, we'll, we'll see you again soon, okay? Have a fantastic rest of the summer.